Yep. Hi, I'm Heath with Texas Pressure Washing Store. I'm gonna walk through this eight foot skid, the Texas Forever that we delivered. We did some custom work on this, I'm gonna talk about it. We have our standard 18 inch reel with our 200 feet of 5 8 inch hose with a D915 ball valve on it. We got your 100 foot of three quarter inch flexel hose on a 12 inch reel, 200 feet of uh, pressure hose with a Mossmatic swivel and a DN10 ball valve. And then we've got another 12 inch reel that he's going to add a window cleaning hose to. And we've got our Flow Pro system here with um, hooked up to a remote bypass with a uh, check valve injector on it. That's from Judd West at Flow Pro Solutions. Uh, definitely, if you're going to do some downstreaming, highly recommend that. And we have our system here, which is our high flow mixer for the AR60 he wanted on a Vanguard 6.5. <clears throat> Very nice engine. First time we've ever used this. Our system has a solenoid to control the soap, the T-Jet three-way for uh, rinsing and uh, chemicals. Right here, we have the RF controller and there's a manual button on it. So if your remotes both get damaged or lost, which employees seem to like to soak them in bleach, things like that, we can send out new remotes and show you how to program them. You just have to open your box and go through the, the uh, steps to program it. Also on the Flow Pro, when you turn it on for the first time, make sure you energize it for 60 seconds on the initial thing for the day so the solenoid can charge. If you don't and you try and activate it before those 60 seconds are up, it won't act right. It won't pull chemicals and you'll think that your injector's broken or something like that. It didn't have enough time to energize. This is an IGX 800 on a uh, general pump and the uh, TSF 2221, 10 gallons a minute. It's a belt driven. And we put a Pulsar unloader on here for him. It's a high flow unloader. We actually saw a 200 PSI increase. Uh, same flow, but obviously better flow for more PSI. So we went from 2800 PSI on a 200 feet hose to actually 300, uh, 3000 PSI. And that unloader, $300, but it's a one-time purchase, so it seems like to me it'd be worth it. Um, and here we got a fire extinguisher, 22 gallon void welding tank. It comes with a gauge and the rollover vent valve. And then we, he's got his um, ground force floater, 24 inch surface cleaner in here. In addition to that, you see back there, he had a 20 gallon tank added. He wanted to use some high strength sodium uh, for carbonate cleaning methods. We have a one inch ball valve here that allows him to go from his 100 gallon bleach tank or to the 20 gallon tank with a one inch draw line. So he had that ability. And in addition to that, over here we have two tanks. You can use them for soap tanks or degreaser. There's a three way uh, ball valve with uh, Viton seals in it. You can go to either tank. There's another ball valve over here. You come over here and see it and you can select you can also downstream from the 20 gallon tank if you didn't want to use your soft wash system. So there's options. And this is a 48 inch buyer's box. And you can see on top of the buyer's box, there's a Tucker RO system on it, uh, the RODI system. And uh, it was on a cart originally right there. And so what we did for him is we pulled it off the cart and we mounted it up there. And I'll show you around the other side how we did some of those things to uh, I'm gonna take the camera. And so up here from the supply system, we came out and you can see we teed it right there and we have a ball valve. So if you're running the window cleaning system, you're gonna open this ball valve and shut that one. So the water hose, the house pressure will actually pressurize and push water through there. Now, if you wanna fill your buffer tank, you shut this one and open this one and it fills your buffer tank. And what we did there is we have two of the slimline tanks. Those are from Paint Handle. Um, they're thicker walled with two lids. They're indented on both sides on the bottom. Really nice tanks. Um, very, very happy with them. And they do ship those. Uh, they're about 180 each shipping, I think. If not more, depends on where you're at. That's ballpark. And we use one for a bleach tank. And we, what we did is on the bottom of this, we daisy chained them. And as usual, you can see we have PEX running to the AR60, one inch PEX. So this is a 15.8 gallon minute system. And we rent one inch from there into the reel and then five eighths inch line there. 
and you can see there's the Tucker initial filter, then it goes to the membrane, the black system, and then it goes, um, what is it, the resin, the DI? Yeah, the resin in there. And then we have one inch Tiger Flex run under there. And he's using lithium ion batteries, uh, deep cycle, really nice, the NOCO charger, and the standard vents on the tanks. And what we did is, these lids are on back order sealed up. So what we did is we did some JB weld on the lids so you don't get a splashing around when the springs fail. Here's a look at the AR60 and the Vanguard 6.5. Got the Flow Pro and the IGX 800, 10 gallon a minute. And then there's the Pulsar unloader. That is actually a flow actuated unloader, even though there's a spring on it. So don't let that throw you because it definitely threw me when we got it. I was like, wait, what? Uh, pretty nice rig. I want to say all told with all the add-ons and bells and whistles, this was 28,000. I have to go look right around 28,000. So and on Cedar Creek, eight foot skid. And we've got also included, he's got his own transfer pump. There's a Remco seven gallon minute, 100 PSI, 12 volt pump with cam locks up there to his bleach system. And he can transfer his own bleach through the system or he can hook up to uh, another system and fill like that. So all in all, a pretty sweet rig. We really appreciate the opportunity to build this.